58-year-old, Kenneth Eugene Smith, became the first person in U.S. history to be executed by a new method that critics called cruel and experimental. Smith was reportedly executed with nitrogen gas last night at a prison in Alabama. A report from the Associated Press said Smith was executed at Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore, Alabama. Smith was officially pronounced dead at 8.25 p.m. on Thursday night. Smith wore a face mask that filled with pure nitrogen in order to cause oxygen deprivation. Last night marked the first time that a new execution method has been used in the United States since lethal injection was introduced in 1982. The report said it took 22 minutes for Smith to stop breathing. Smith reportedly remained conscious for several minutes before beginning to shake and writhe on the gurney, at times pulling on the restraints. That scene was reportedly followed by Smith breathing heavily for several minutes until he was no longer breathing. Smith gave one last statement before being executed. Tonight Alabama causes humanity to take a step backwards. I'm leaving with love, peace, and light. Thank you for supporting me. Love, love all of you, Smith said from the gurney, to an audience that included some family members. Smith was convicted for the 1988 murder for hire slaying of 45-year-old, Elizabeth Sennett. Smith's last meal was a T-bone steak, hash browns, toast, and eggs, smothered in A1 sauce.